good day. Let's uh, talk about corn. We, we grow corn on our farm. Uh, it's close to my heart as well as soybeans, but uh, corn looks interesting. We've got a, a big report tomorrow. Keep that in mind. But let's talk about these corn for a second. We did not take out those three month highs. We've been talking about at 363. Uh, much, that's also a key 50% 50 retracement level from our, our big 2020 price swoon that we had. So we're up again today as well. Uh, but keep an eye on that, uh, that three month high of 363. Um, I reckon we're going to see more uh, position taking today too. Maybe some shorts are, are a little bit uh, stung from the last time around, the last USDA report we had. So we're, the market again is up four or five cents as we speak right now. Uh, but I, I, I reckon that's more of a positioning kind of a thing uh, than anything else. And talking about positioning, we mentioned the last time we were on uh, that the U.S. Uh, the uh, managed money had really gotten out of a third of their short 300,000 contracts. So they're going into the report looks about 200,000 short. I said then, and I'll still I'll still say it again. You know, to see a nice rally on the back of the fact that we had less acres and the likes, that's great. But I, I want to see some new longs come to the market, and it looks as though, uh, as we speak, a lot of these uh, of this movement higher has been sh old shorts buying back their shorts, right, getting out of the market. So. As much as we like to see higher prices, I'd like to see it from healthy longs getting into the market rather than uh, short covering. Uh, we'll take it, but short covering just isn't really got the same oomph as new money and new longs coming to the market. So we'll keep an eye on that. But the funds have gotten out of a third of their short position and have been largely responsible for the rally that we've seen as of late. So this USDA number, it could be a, it could be a, a market mover, right? It's something that we're going to have to watch. Uh, and especially after what we saw happen with the uh, acreage number, you know, this is why that positioning I talked about is going to be pretty important. So uh, we've bounced uh, more than 13 cents coming to market this morning. Overnight, we were up 13 cents from Deese's low contract. We've tacked on some more pennies to that today. So that's a good move, right? So again, I can't say this enough, but if you're a producer, take advantage of these things because it's uh, the trading God is giving you a chance to you know, get some get some of your risk down on paper, use the exchange for what it's for, and hedge some of these better prices. So again, uh, right now things are, are looking better. Um, I would have liked to have seen more new money come to the market with this uh, this rally. It looks as though it's more of a short squeeze. We've got some positioning here again, but remember uh, that old high at 363 in Dees corn. We've seen Dees corn bounce uh, 13 cents from say yesterday's low. Plus we've tacked on some pennies again today on the open. Now, we'll see what we get out of this number, but it could be uh, something that we have to keep an eye on because the, the, you know, every now and again we get a good market mover like we did the last time. So I would say buckle up.